Dear Alan, greetings from IIT Bombay. I am delighted to inform you that QS University BRICS ranking 2018 has rated our institute as the highest ranked amongst all Indian universities and ninth overall. In the QS Asia ranking declared in October 2017, the institute was ranked 34 in Asia and number one in India. These distinctions are yet another manifestation of the progress being made by the institute towards global excellence. Among the major developments in the institute this year, the IIT Bombay incubator sign has been recognized as a center of excellence under the Nidhi program of the Department of Science and Technology Government of India. The incubator will receive rupees 43 crores under this scheme and will set up the center of excellence in a new building with 60,000 square feet earmarked to house at least 70 startups at a time. This will certainly benefit the startup culture in the institute in a big way. IIT Bombay continuously strives to introduce new areas in its academic programs and innovate in its academic activities in a bid to generate the kind of intellectual capital that will keep the institute and the nation up to date. During this year, a four-year Bachelor of Science program in Economics has been started with admission through the JE for its 26 seats. Another new initiative is the offering of an interdisciplinary dual degree program BTech in one department and MTech in another to the undergraduate students of the institute. At the postgraduate level, a new doctoral program in policy studies has been initiated. With our theme, research that makes a difference, IIT Bombay has made concerted efforts to align its R&D focus with the national goal of achieving technological self-reliance. During the last 10 years, R&D receipts have grown at 42% per year and the R&D revenues for this year were rupees 390 crores. There were 109 patent applications filed during the year. Another new initiative is the IIT Bombay Research Park which has become operational and hosts R&D labs of five firms at present. The objective of the research park is to enhance R&D collaborations with industry. The institute has been able to attract outstanding faculty members not just from India but from other parts of the globe. The institute has 660 faculty members on its roles with many of them globally acknowledged for their research contributions. I am very glad to inform you that three of our faculty members received the Swaran Jayanti Fellowship, the top national award for scientists below the age of 40 years. Many of our alumni are making path-breaking contributions and receiving many awards. I would like to highlight one. Mr. Colin Gonzalez, B.Tech, 1975 Civil Engineering, now a Supreme Court Advocate, has been honored with the Right Livelihood Award 2017, which is also known as the Alternative Nobel Prize, for his contributions to secure the fundamental rights for India's most marginalized people. Please join me in congratulating him. IIT Bombay recognizes alumni as vital stakeholders of the institute and we are working to strengthen links with all alumni. The contributions of alumni, both financial and the time that the alumni are putting in and their expertise are numerous and have played a big part in taking the institute forward. Thank you on behalf of the institute. I also want to thank you for making a record number of donations to IIT Bombay in the last year. This was possible because of the popularity of important programs like YFA, the Young Faculty Awards, student scholarships and the creative teamwork of all our alumni volunteers involved in the efforts. We are counting on your help for us to keep our tryst with excellence. Next year is our Diamond Jubilee and I look forward to seeing you all on the campus. My best wishes for the new year to you and your family.